How's it going everyone? This is Alec and welcome back to episode 4. So we stopped here at this bridge. We are supposed to enter the Dwemer Ruin and search for Antoine or Antoine or Antoine. I forgot his name. He says excavation site keep out. <coughs> By the way, I still have a flu. I'm still kind of recovering. Yeah, I just really wanted to record an episode today. Uh, it's been too long since I recorded this, so... <laughs> this ruin is an official excavation site of the Imperial Archaeological Society. Therefore, it's under the protection of the Elder Council. Entry not allowed except for a society members, and we are not a society member. So this is the important part. All trespassers will be fined and removed from the site. The society guards have the sanction to use lethal force. So, <clears throat> in other words, uh, there are guards inside that will kill me on sight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Speak freely, friend. Turn around this way so you don't stare. Okay. Stay like that. Stay like that, my friend. Don't turn around. I'm just gonna... Walk that way. I'm gonna... Let's... Let's go. Alright, here we are, finally. Let's sneak. My armor kinda sounds noisy. <laughs> let, me, let me take a look at my character. It's been so many days since I played. Yeah, obviously I'm still level 1. <clears throat> I think we are like 7 in-game days in, and I'm still level 1. And very, very far from level 2. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna train some skills as soon as I go back to old Evanhard. I'm almost full with, with my inventory. I have a book of jokes for some reason. Okay, I do have a Kash Lock Splitter, and I have Undusi's Unhinging. Three pieces in case we need those. I have a silver claymore I obtained in a previous episode, if you guys watched. That was fun. Alright, let's see what's going on. So yeah, this is the collapsed tunnel. So apparently Antoine Florain came here to loot or whatever, and he haven't come back. Meanwhile, I found out that uh, there was a disaster, and there was a collapse, so people remain, uh, got trapped in a tunnel somewhere. So I probably need to save him. There's something there I can see. Oh, there are people. <gasps> There's a guard. I think I saw a guard. He was holding a, sh a torch. He has a weapon. He has a helmet. Yeah, I'm gonna cut out every time I cough. So yeah, that's a guard. And uh, the archaeologist, they don't have weapons. So I don't think they will attack me, but who knows, it's Morrowind. Don't infect me with your curse. All right. But there's no way I can sneak there. <gasps> He's here, closer. Okay, so the guard is like working, uh, walking around. Oh, he's back in the same spot. He's facing right here. Uh, what's this? Oh, look at this. It's a secret tunnel. Oh my god, he's looking right here. There's a passage. Can I jump there? No, no way. I mean, realistically, you could go through this, right? It's right there. Look at this. You can easily pass through. But uh, it's a game mechanics. In this world, people are not so skillful in, in some things. In some other things, they are very skillful. Wow, look at all this loot. However, there are a couple of members, at least two members of the society and a guard. Wow. Yeah, there's no chance in, in ever for me going there without being noticed. However, I discovered this. Let's see where this goes. 
and this passage was almost hidden behind. It reminded me of that cave near Sedan Inn. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure if I hear something walking or it's just like a sound effect. Wow. Wow, look at this. Okay. Yeah, no wonder this whole thing collapsed. I mean, it looks very unstable. I also hope that we're gonna find Antoine Florain alive. Oh, I see something there. Oh, that's a Dwemer construct. Let me get my trusty claymore. I purchased from a dead orc. Oh, it's a dead uh, Dwemer spider. Hmm. Okay, that should be no. No challenge for me, but let's just save in case. All right, come here, you. How many legs does he have? Eight? Six? They're not like true spiders, right? They have six legs. They have, they have six, six legs attached to a metal egg. Oh. Hey there, buddy. Hey there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One more hit. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, wow. I'm missing a lot. I'm not used to missing this much because I always play with this class. And I remember in my previous playthroughs, I never had so many misses. Centurion Spiderling. Let me... I can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Let's take a cheap potion of health. I think I have some here. Cheap potion of jump. Let's just jump on these little spiders and squish them. What, what madness lies ahead of us? Oh, look at that. Hmm. Oh, this seems like a room that we saw at the entrance. Oh, Dwemer chest, lock level 30. Fear not, for I have many scrolls of opening locks. Yeah, this has to be the this the main room at the beginning. So we actually went all around and we can loot. Well, at least we can loot this chest. Let's see what's inside. I'm going to use Andusi unhinging. Because it should open, it's 40 to 60 points on touch. Yes, I'm unnoticed. Oh, this is a sa satchel. A Dwemer satchel pack. Oh, these things are heavy, I'm gonna be overburdened. It's okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna leave my book of jokes. Jokes. Actually, let me... I'm gonna place a book of jokes <laughs> in, a, in a chest. I have a Dwarven Dagger. Uh, poison Saber was a gift from Captain Fentus, so I'm gonna keep that. The Asylum Ball. I have two glass lanterns. Maybe get rid of one lantern. And let's have some snack or nada meat. All right, all right, we got we got something. Can I just blow this, those guys away? <laughs> I've got the cure for your curse. Um, okay, I hear more. I only hope that it's only the Dwemer spiders. If they're just those guys, oh, that's a big one. Oh, run, run, you fool. He's throwing uh, like a poison at me, but I think they have like a limited amount of poison. Come on. There you go, good boy, good boy. Oh. 
Yep, one more, one more, come on. Watch how he gets bloated before spitting his poison. It's almost like he's organic, but he's not organic, he's metal. It's kind of like a biomechanic. I think I think he used he used up all the poison. I have range. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! He stabbed me with one leg and I almost died. <laughs> wow. That hurt, bro. That hurt. Luckily, I have many potions of restore health. Get over here, boy. Come here. Ah. Die. Why won't you die? Yes, we can heal for free. Centurion Spider. Oh, he has a scrap metal. It's too heavy for me now. I think I would need scrap metal for one of the quests back in Old Eberhardt. If I remember, there's a quest for the Imperial Cult. They will require me to find these scrap metals, but they're too heavy for me. Oh my god. Antoine? Antoine? What's your name? I always forgot your name. Oh, another one? Come on, man. Um, I'm not gonna use the adamantium crossbow. I'm, I'm pretty much gonna miss. I don't want to waste this uh, adamantium bolts. I think poison doesn't work on them anyways. They're not organic. Plus, they have poison inside of them. Oh! There's a dead body. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, bro. Chill out. The poison, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay. This is getting serious. I even have a restore health potion uh, scroll. Okay, I'm gonna use... Let me drink Sujama. And let's restore health. Because these guys, when they stab you, they stab you really bad. Oh. Come here, come here. Come here, you bloated, overgrown. Is there one of them or? Yeah. He was stuck, luckily. Is this Antoine? Okay, dispose of corpse, please. Dead digger. Oh my god. This guy's head was crashed when this collapsed. Ooh, place a satchel. Wait, no, no, no. He says dead digger. Hmm. Natch, I'm gonna take his helm. <laughs> Even though I don't see his head. This could... This looks like it could be Antoine. I guess we don't have to find out. We have to blow this thing. Okay. Place. Yeah, I had to run. <clears throat> I remember these things from the Tribunal DLC. Wow. So if this is Skyrim, if I walked across over these rocks, I would die. Nope. It's not Antoine. Oh, there's someone else. Oh my god, there is more of them. <clears throat> oh, another satchel. Shovel. It's a blunt weapon. <laughs> oh, so they probably collapsed this thing. Okay, let's see if something is inside. Alright, let's do this. Run! Run! It sounds quiet there, so it should be safe. Antoine! My old friend. 
So good to see you. He's alive. Wow, he was stuck here. To what do I owe this pleasure? Happy to see me again? Antio Florain. Garrick Whitehands, you... You <clears throat> have saved me. There was a cave in. A huge boulder nearly crushed me. I ran here for cover, but then the way was shut by collapsed rocks. I would have never gotten out of here without you. Well, I suppose... I suppose I owe you my thanks. Hmm. Don't let that get to your head, though. I'll return to old Ebonheart on my own. I need to gather my strength first, get some food and drink and rest. You can return ahead of me and let Fentus know I'm alright. Staff of Dalen Zanchu? You can have that cursed thing. That's the reason for all my troubles. It's in the corner there. Oh, I forgot there's a staff involved. I had no idea there's like some item involved. Wow. Okay, I think our relation with Anton Antio Florin is kind of like warming up. He's slowly opening for to us. Uh, wait, what did I just pick up? Some Dwarven Hammer? Repair Hammer? Oh, it's Apprentice's Armor Hammer. Let me try to fix some armor here. More scrap metal. Nothing here. Wow. Oh, there are more... Oh, look at... Oh, that's a staff. What's this? Alright, Dalen Zanchu staff. It's a blunt weapon. Two-handed. 5,000. Well, now I'm gonna have to figure out how to carry this <laughs> back way. Alright, I'm gonna leave the book here. I'm gonna leave the lantern. I have to get rid of many, many things. So, wait a minute. These guys haven't died recently. They are already, like, bare bones. Meaning they died a long time ago. Oh, I hear... Oh, we can go further. Look at this. So we can probably go back and sneak through the guards and go this way. But for now, we successfully completed this mission. So I have no desire to go on. All right. See ya, mate. Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. Oh, I'm sneaking. That's why I'm so short. All right. Should I pick up something here? It's kind of heavy. I don't have room in my inventory. All right, let's go back. Let's save. All right. Hopefully no one heard all these explosions. <laughs> There's a guard again. He just had to stand there. But I don't think he will react. I'm too far away. Wow, that was... Do I have a bounty? Let's see. No bounty. Let's get out of here. Wow, we did it, man. I'm thinking to walk back to Old Ebonheart. I haven't really walked too much around, haven't explored. It should be kind of relatively safe. And that could be a chance for me to uh, level up. Let's try to do that. Uh, first, I'm gonna go back to Darvonis. And then I'm gonna find a road. Hello. Yes, Nord? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So yeah, I'm sorry I had to take such a long break. Uh, <laughs> I really have a bad, bad flu. I'm kind of recovering, but it takes so long. I already lost the count of how many times I got cold or flu this year alone. Ever since I moved here to East Asia, it's been just like non-stop getting sick. And it's not only me, it's my whole family. But luckily my son is recovering, he's recovered, so... My wife took him today to the nursery. They just left. It's a pretty dark, cloudy morning here, so... I thought it's a perfect time to play some Morrowind. Whoa! Whoa! Aggressive Scrib? What? Dude! Why? This guy was angry. Actually, let me take some uh, jelly. Ah, he doesn't even have a jelly. Whatever. 
I think this was the first time I was randomly attacked by Scrib. <clears throat> I was really hoping to recover uh, this past weekend, however it was really bad. Like one day I'll feel a little bit better and I was thinking, okay, by tomorrow I'm gonna recover. And then tomorrow I'm actually worse again. So these flus are really weird. They kind of take so long to uh, go away. By the gods, you're half dead. However, I really don't want to make uh, big breaks between the episodes. So today I just really had to record. Uh, even if it's a shorter episode, I don't mind. Hey, we are kind of going in a good direction. That's nice. So as long as we go west, it's fine. I just want to find some road. There should be a road to Old Evanhart. I mean, it's a it's a major center, right? So, yep, there it is. That's a Darvanis. So yeah, that's for the flu. And I barely had any sleep last night. I slept maybe four hours. And uh, I had a fever dream. Funnily enough, it was related to Morrowind, kinda. So I had a fever dream of Michael Kirkbride for some reason. For no reason at all. I haven't I haven't read anything. Actually, I was kinda reading lots of lore recently. Maybe that's why, I don't know. But yeah, I had a dream of Michael Kirkbride giving a lecture at some college. And he was wearing some light blue polo shirt. And uh, I saw him giving a lecture and I was like, oh man, I have to go. Guys, we have to go watch this. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to talk to this guard and level up my speechcraft. At least one, one point. Outlander, what do you want? I can usually do this with the guards. So what I'm going to do is I admire them. Oh, not again. Again. Uh oh. Uh oh. She hates me now. But I managed to raise my speechcraft to one point. So now we are four out of ten. Yeah. So, anyways, going back to my fever dream. Yeah, suddenly out of nowhere, Michael Kirkbride appears and he's giving a lecture in a, some kind of college. I'm thinking, okay, you go out, but don't act like a act like a nerd don't say oh i'm a big fan you know just act natural so i go there and i'm like hey i'm a fan and i'm like ah oh, you dork why do you have to say that <laughs> so yeah it was weird and then suddenly uh, the place that he was giving a lecture at it was like a basketball field outdoor basketball field and suddenly people start playing basketball but it's like over the moon so people are like flying and levitating while playing basketball it was all like weird it was a fever dream or a fever-induced dream featuring Michael Kirkbride. Uh, I usually don't have these kind of dreams. So... That was really surprising. Yeah, I see another Scrib. Let me see if they're gonna attack me again. And also another benefit of walking around is that my athletics will level up. Hey, buddy. Okay, he's fine. He's good. So I talk about my dreams. You're almost dead and you want to talk? Get healed. Looks like it's going to rain. I'm trying to keep my fatigue or my stamina higher. So in case we have to fight someone, I can actually hit uh, the, my enemy. But if I know my Morrowind, as long as we follow the road, we should be safe. All right. Old Ebonhard this way, please. By the way, I think they're gonna redesign this area. This is a Sundered Scar region. So right now it's more like a bitter coast with the standard looking bitter coast shacks and villages, whatever. I heard it's going to be more like a turn into like a volcanic kind of landscape with a Veloti architecture. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I think it's gonna be very, very good. It will turn more and more. Oh, whoa, whoa. Holy cow, I'm gonna die. No, no. That was a jump scare. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Leaf Racer out of nowhere. Good, good. Oh, there's a cave. See, you never know what you're gonna stumble upon on your journey. Let me just take a peek. Out of sheer curiosity. What's going on here? Oh. Sirsa Drawran Shrine. Sounds like a fun place, to be honest. Shrine. What the hell? What kind of shrine is here? Wow, what is that? Hello? Anybody here? It's a Daedric Ruin. Hmm. No. Oh! Oh my god. That fog, whatever it's coming out of the thing, scare me. I thought it's an enemy descending upon me. <laughs> Level 75. I can actually open it with a cash splitter, but no thanks. All right, Sir Sadroran, it was nice to meet you. It looks like it's getting dark. It's 7 p.m. of course. I'm also working on a new video for my main channel. Uh, it's taking a while. I, I had to take a break last few days because I was very sick, so I couldn't write. I couldn't focus. But uh, I'm gonna resume and I... I wrote already like 10 pages of script. It's gonna be a longer video, for sure. I can't wait to uh, finish that one. Okay, we have a... Nice scenery here, but too bad it's all foggy and cloudy. In general, I think walking alone at nighttime in this area is not as smart, the best idea. <laughs> Too late now. Where's the road? Did, did I lose the road? Wait a minute. That's the road. Alright. So the road is just simply gone. People are probably like, oh, this area is too wild. Well, that's not a good thing. I'll just keep uh, going along the coast. I don't want to go deep into this jungle yet. Let me fight this forager. Because I really want to level up. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Hit me with your best shot. Come on. Alright. It's kind of quiet here. I like it. I think I see something in the distance. Oh, it's nothing. Next hound. Why not? Why not? I should be able to take one down if it's only one. I need to reach level two. Come here. Help me. Yes. Oh. 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 All right. All right. Okay, thank you. Oh, another cave. Hopefully it's something less dangerous, less Daedra. You know what? I'm gonna go to the cave and try to rest there. Let me go other way around. Because there's a cliff racer and they're kind of dangerous. <laughs> okay, what's here? My Maya Sabun, Obalus Burial. What? You know what, I just want to rest here, actually. Oh, resting here is illegal? What? Why is resting here illegal, though? I mean, there are only some mummies. Ah, uh, no. That's crazy. Who is forbidding me from resting in the burial if I want to? Oh well. Oh well. Well, let's try. Good, 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 good. And there's a mud crab. 
Oh, it's a... It looks kind of small. It's not even aggressive. Okay, I'll let it be. It's probably a baby mud crab. Does it make sense to rest here? I guess we can try. It looks safe here. Let's rest. We can hide here and rest. Alright, it's 3 a.m. We had our little rest, and now we're gonna continue to Old Evanhart. It's too dark. I think I'm gonna wait till daytime. It's probably always cloudy here anyway, so... There's no use of waiting for a sunshine. You know what? I don't feel safe in this region. This is... There are no roads. Okay. I guess you have to go here. If I remember well, there is going to be a Dwemer Ruin here somewhere. This is what happens when you have low acrobatics. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, uh, there you go. Acrobatics 8. So I wonder if I sneak around, will this level up my sneak? Or do I have to be in the presence of enemies, of hostile creatures? I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's the deal with the Sundered Scar. This whole region looks... I guess, scarred. <laughs> it's very rough and hostile. I think uh, lore-wise, like in-game, people can usually uh, always speak negatively about this region. Yeah, there's the Dwemer Ruin there. If I remember from dialogues, people always mention Sunder the Scar. It's like a... Oh, you don't want to go there. There's nothing there. It's too dangerous and all kind of things. So... I wonder what happened here. Why is it called Sunder the Scar? There's many, many, like, lakes. I, I mean, it's a swamp. So, maybe that's why it's full of water. Oh, there's a shack. So I think we are weary. How dreadful, friend. You have taken a few knocks. Maybe you should get healed. I think we are very... Those wounds seem serious, friend. I think we are very near the Dejic... Ah, you're sick. Ruin. I think we are very near the Dejic Ruin. I used to visit that place in a previous playthrough a long time ago. Come on, man. Don't struggle with the cliff racer. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These cliff racers are are tough. There's a Nyx Hound. I better heal myself. Oh my god. I have only three standard restore health potions. Well, I guess I'm gonna use all of them on the way back. <laughs> I really need to fight more. I need to level up. This is ridiculous. I saw another Nyx Hound here somewhere. Get to a healer, friend, before you infect us all. There's this very really large Deja Cruin. It's part of a Fighter's Guild quest line. So I'm not gonna go there yet. Move on. Oh, are you a witch hunter? Leave me, stranger. Oh, okay. I want you to leave. I better leave before she attacks me. <laughs> Let's leave her alone. Wow. Is this Scrib attacking me? No. Let's make this swamp a little bit more safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice combo. Alright. Oh, this is the diseased one. What about the forager? I mean, they are quite dangerous. Alright, my heavy armor finally leveled up. 
Oh, disease, mud crab. Alright. I'm not gonna eat a diseased mud crab. I hear a cliff racer. Oh, there you are. I can hear its wings. Come on. Alright. Getting a little bit better. <laughs> God, it's so foggy. Wow, this region looks dead. Like someone just died here. <laughs> By the way, I have a comment. It was a really nice idea. Because, well, I am a um, Thieves Guild member, right? And I totally forgot to, well, do some thieving around. So, probably next episode. Or maybe not. Maybe today, but I don't think so. We'll see. I want to I wanna dedicate an episode to just looting, like, rich houses in Old Heart. Just looting as much as I can and getting some money and then using that money to uh, level up my skills so that should be fun I've never done anything like that so it's going to be fun to actually just go around and see what can we steal what can we find there are many many houses in all level heart and especially rich houses and manors okay we are now switched the region and suddenly it's more colorful <laughs> Okay, now we are actually in our one of my favorite regions, Antirin region. We are approaching the river Tyr. That landscape, oh, that's Antirin, definitely Antirin. Nice. Look how beautiful it is. Look at that. Now that's a region. Wow. I wonder those flying things, how tough they are. I forgot their names. They have some weird Lovecraftian name. Like Yogg Sothoth or something like that. Let's try to hunt down one of them. They're basically like overgrown bumblebees. <laughs> nice. I just love this red soil. I don't know why. Come here, little buddy. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Is it, is it gonna kill me? Is it going to kill me? Yet group. Yeah, I was kinda close. Yet resin. Don't they have some kind of like a Lovecraftian name? Yet group. And they sound like mini Cthulhu's. So as you guys can see, there's a Mama Guar and a Baby Guar. And I think they're both peaceful. Oh yeah, it's a Baby Guar. Alright. You are not peaceful, I know that. Go back to hell. Alright. So nice. <laughs> they look at each other. Wow. It's a beautiful afternoon here. I just love even the shadow that these trees cast on the ground because of the shape of the leaves. It looks so gorgeous. It looks very artistic. Okay, so we're supposed to go across this little bridge. There's the Ebon Tower, but um, again, this terrain is kind of difficult to navigate, so we have to go around. But I don't mind because 
compared to Sunder's car, this is a beautiful, relaxing region. I just love these trees. They always remind me of eucalyptus. I think I already mentioned that before. And uh, even the shape of the leaves is so beautiful. And kind of the way they cast shadow on the ground. It looks almost like a pattern, like a, very artistic. <clears throat> so nice. The leaves also look almost like shells. Like seashells. So nice. I see something over there. Oh, there seems to, there seems to be a mine over there. I think that's an Indril guard. Who's that? I heard a female Bosmer. I smell a female Bosmer. Oh, she's hiding what here. What is this about? Oh my god, these Bosmers are evolving. Look the way she's camouflaged. Loney. Lost? I'm not lost. I'm a scout. Are you lost? Hey, it's fine. Don't be so defensive. Can you train me something? All right, I'm listening. Block, medium armor, and long blade. Uh, I don't think so. All right, you just do whatever you do here. Is she eating this cork bulb? She has a spear. Wow. Okay. But as I was saying, like, just imagine spending like a hot summer afternoon in the shadow, in the shade of these colossal trees. I don't know why, just so, so awesome. Oh, what kind of flowers are these? Blue canet. Oh yeah, we have a gold canet on Wardenfell, right? This is a blue variation. I actually didn't know about that. Nice. We're almost there. And it's kind of getting late actually, so perfect timing. But let's please adore this view. Wow. Alright, I know now where we are. Oh, huh. what kind of cave is that? Should I try? Since we're here already, let's try. Why not? Is she doer? Hmm, mud crab? Alright. This has to be an old mud crab. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, alright, alright. Alright. Give me some meat. Okay, so what's going on in this cave? Oh, this rat is killing me. This must be a cave rat. Yeah, cave rats are so under... I don't want to say underrated, but they are really dangerous. Especially for a level 1 character. If you see a 2 cave rats or 3... Run away. I see a fish. Another K rat. Oh, diseased. Oh. We are both diseased. Yeah, and if they're diseased, they're tougher. They're tough. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm gonna die here. How about that? How about that? How about that? Okay, was it worth? Was it worth? And all this for some dead body? Uh, there's moon sugar, which I'm not interested in. Seven septums. Wow. Again, this could be a quest related. Um, or maybe a... I don't know, moon sugar addict kind of hiding here and just dying. Alright, finally. This was a long journey, man. It's getting dark. Wow. 
Morrowind, why are you so beautiful? <laughs> Morrowind. I've only walked from, from Darvonis to Old Eberhardt. And it took us such a long time because of different terrain and all the enemies and caves we found nearby along the road. So imagine if you take a walk all around Morrowind one day. It's kind of ridiculous, really. Okay. Oh, there's the old Evan Hart. The little piece of empire in Morrowind. Yeah, feels such a nice sight. Look at that. Wow. Just add some green grass and change these mushrooms with some like uh, oak trees or whatever. You'll think you're in Cyrodiil or High Rock. All right, all right. I still love this robe and this hat. What do you guys think of my fashion, my outfit? Also, another thing, I th I believe it's time for me to find some storage, some safe storage space because I have so many things on me including this Dwemer staff that I'm not gonna use. When it comes to unique things like that, I kind of like to uh, keep them uh, for a collection. But I need to find some house or somewhere... Well, there are no houses for sale in all in uh, Tamriel Rebuilt. So we either had to claim some house for ourselves or find some safe storage somewhere. I don't know. So if you guys have any suggestion about that, let me know in the comment. Where can I safely, uh, safely store all these things on me? Okay. Now, legally, I should like uh, report all these items on me to this guy. I'm not gonna do that. Alright, it's been a long time since I've been to um, Empress Kataria. Alright. I wonder if Anton is back. My journal has been updated. Where is everyone? Upon returning to the Empress Kataria Inn, I noticed that everyone has gone missing. What? This quest line just keeps surprising me. Does that mean I can steal anything? Anything? <laughs> Okay, I'm sure we're gonna discover something. Okay, there's a note. Oh no. And the key. I'm really... Oh, my sneak skill increased to six. <laughs> Travel by my side. All right, I'm really, really scared to read this note. Note from Y. Garrick Whitehands, go to the top floor. Take the door to your right. Cross the skywalk and then go down the spiral stairs and down the hatch. You'll need a key. Hurry. Don't go outside. The guards are on high alert. What? Thieves Guild hideout. Oh no. I can't go outside. Wait, wait. Let's see what happens. I found a note on the floor. Supp oh, supposedly from Igulf the Mute. There's a Thieves Guild hideout. Apparently I didn't know about it. No one informed me about the hideout. Now go down the spiral, he said. Yeah, I've been here. But I never went down. Oh, there it is. I see a hatch or, or trap door, or whatever you call it. Old Ebonheart Sewer, Steve's Guild Hideout. Greetings. Wow. Alright, now it feels like a Thieves Guild. <laughs> but what happened? Guards are on alert. Who Our are doors you? Doors are always open. Who are you? Okay, three scales. Can you tell me what's going on and where is Captain Fentus? If it wasn't for Eagle of's quick thinking, the guards would have captured us. Okay, who are you? The guards, they took Fentus and Morani. 
Oh, it was horrible, Garrick Whitehands. Oh no. Cowards, maggots, bastards. <laughs> Damn them all to the lowest dunk pit of oblivion. Oh, you can talk? Of course I can bloody well talk, Garrick Whitehands, you bloody fool. Haven't had anything worth saying until now. I know better than to ruin a good silence by talking, but now, now I can't stay silent anymore. Those cursed guards, so tell me what happened. Those damn legion boys raided the inn. Three scales, Namalvu and myself managed to escape, but they took Morani and Captain Fentus. Why was the inn raided? I suspect it's because of the... the Lagias gang. I reckon it has something to do with the fact that we're a bunch of thieves. But I don't know why, who's the cur who tipped them off, or with what evidence. In any case, they've taken Morani and Fentus to the Ebon Tower dungeons. Only a miracle can save them now. Wow. They're kept in the Legion dungeons, deep underneath the Ebon Tower, waiting for judgment. Morani probably will get a relatively light sentence, a few years of hard labor. But the captain? They'll hang that old pirate for sure. Breaking them out of there would be downright impossible. But perhaps you'd be able to sneak in undetected and manage to have a word with them. Find out if, by some miracle, you could help them. How can I get to the dungeons? The main entrance is obviously not an option, but the city's sewer system is connected to the sewers under the Ebon Tower. You can get to the eastern sewers from our hideout, and from there keep going west until you reach the Tower Bridge sewer. It will lead you underneath the Ebon Tower. You might be able to find an entrance to the Legion dungeons somewhere there. If I could draw a map for you, I would. Should you have a trouble finding your way, someone at the Palace of Beggars might be able to help you. And once I'm in, how am I supposed to help them? Beats me, to be frank. Maybe Morani has a plan. She usually has a plan. Uh, why me? Whatever. I'll be off then. One last thing. I might be stating the obvious here, but for the love of gods, stay out of sight. If the guards spot you, if they catch you, you'll end up in the same hole as Morani and Fentus. And it will ruin any chance of ever getting them out. Stay hidden and good luck. One thing I don't know actually, what will happen if I get caught and if I go to jail? In Morrowind, there's no really game over at the end unless you die. So if they find me and they arrest me, I just go to jail and there always has to be a way out, right? But this looks like a job for a next episode, next time. Oh, this keeps getting crazier and crazier, really. We can go to the sewers and find the dungeons. Oh my god. For that, I need to recover fully and be more fresh and energetic. <laughs> Alright, so this is it. I'm gonna stop here for today. We at least did something. We saved Anton. Now we're gonna have to go to the sewers and save Captain Fantus. I really want to save him because I like the guy. And Morani as well. We're gonna go through the sewers, find a dungeon and all of that. But that looks like a job for another time, for next time. Okay, this is getting really, really crazy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be back very soon.